カマーゼロファイター EK レンタル車両をドライビングしましてダニエル・シルベスター。Special thanks to everybody on Patreon for helping me fund this adventure. If you enjoy these travel videos and want to see them ahead of everyone else, as well as some exclusive posts, please consider joining. Alan, welcome to our first circuit race in Japan. Yes, here is the car EK9 race base, prepared by Zero Fighter. It's a rental car. And today we're competing in the Honda One Make N1R class against 21 other cars just like this, all 1600 Honda Civics B16s. There's lots and lots of tasty stuff here. I'm here with、uh, Jesse and Lucas. You've seen Jesse, he's been helping us out a lot already on our little Japan trip, and he helped me a lot on this trip as well. He helped me a lot sort this one out as well. So, very thank you to the man. In fact, he even went as far as. Lending me some wet tyres. Because as part of the、uh, rental, I bought some brand new d i r e t z e s Yeah? Brand new, it's what everyone, everyone pretty much seems to run. But then the forecast changed, and suddenly we were in for a wet day. Now we're not too sure yet what the weather's going to be like for the race. The format of the day is we've got a half an hour practice session, that's coming up in about an hour's time. And then we've got a 20 minute qualifying session, and then shortly after that, we've got a 10 lap race, which is about 15 minutes, which is about the same distance as what I was used to doing before. So there's Honda porn everywhere for you Honda folks. I brought me big camera, so we'll have a pit walk at some point. The DC2 through there as well, you might be able to see. But、uh, yeah, lots of, lots of nice stuff here, and yeah, first circuit race. In Japan. I've spared no expense. We've got a DVD player in there. No, it's、uh, obviously I brought my Garmin with me. We've got all the GoPros rigged up. Front camera, three front cameras, just so that we don't miss anything. Yeah. Rear view, and we've got a pedal camera down there as well. Because why not? Yeah. Because why not? So this is an EK9 race base, that's why it's four stud. It has competed a lot before, it's、uh, won races before. We need to set out some. Some expectations from today, just before we get too ahead of ourselves. Some expectations from today. What expectations are they? Well, I know, I know you all think I'm the best driver in the world, right? I know, but excuse number one. Some of these have done thousands of laps here, right? It's a local track.、Mm -hmm. We're driving a car that we've not driven before. Okay, it's an EK. We should be alright in that regard, yeah? The biggest excuse I can give you. Is that I have been awake since 1 am after getting about two hours sleep. The jet is still lagging. Hmm, maybe, it's to, maybe I need to shave that off. Get rid of that, maybe the jet lag will go. Maybe. But yeah, that's two solid excuses, I think. I'm hoping for t h e r e s 21 other cars, right? So 22 competitors. I'm hoping to be top 10. That would be quite nice, I think. If we can get in the top 10, I think that'd be good. Well, we've got a driver's briefing soon, so that'll be. A fun one for me, of course. Hope they're calling us to go down there now, I think. So let's go do it. Just walk into the driver's briefing, but I'll show you some of the cars on the way. That is crazy. We've got all the aero. Apparently, it's running a V18. Very nice. Well, very hosh spec. Also, we've got EF CGs, CRX. There's a fit there, obviously, a DC2. A couple more EGs. This is the Zero Fighter Hut. Oh, Weybridge. Where's the meeting? Oh? There's no one here. There's quite a few cool cars here, though. Alright, there's a few cars out on track now. We're doing a, they're doing a cheater practice session. Doesn't seem like noise limits are such a thing here. There's no. Castle Donington to, to worry about or anything like that. There's no planes going over either, so I don't know how they get away with it. Weird one, that, isn't it?、Yeah. Uh, just putting some air in the tyres, ready for the wet. They were a bit low. We're going out in the practice session, right? And because it's raining, I've said you can pretty much do what you want with tyres, but normally the tyres that you qualify have to be the tyres that you race on. And they've marked my tyre, look, they've marked it to say 
these are the tyres which I said, but because it's raining anyway, they're, they're probably not going to uh, be too strict with that, so we'll go out anyway. Jesse really wants me to try these tyres, these are a super, super soft uh, Dereza compound that we don't get in the UK, as far as I'm aware. Apparently these things are awesome in the wet, we know how good the Yokohama AO52 is in the wet, well, Jesse says these are even better, so I guess we'll find out, eh? But yeah, just getting ready to go up now, so I will see you in the car for our first laps of Central Circuit. Unfortunately, my trusty voice recorder didn't record anything on this day. I do have my helmet cam on later in this session and in the next session, so you can kind of hear what I'm saying, but it's not the best. So I'll even narrate stuff or put messages on screen. But yeah, we're going out. First drive, the EK9. First drive, a central, and it's a little bit wet. One thing to keep an eye on in this car, which is quite interesting, if you watch the center console, there's a red light every time I press the brake pedal to show you when I'm on the brakes. That's quite a good idea, right? Eh?
Mm. Yeah, that was slightly less than ideal with the Garmin. It's now rolling about the floor. It was briefly tethered by the cables, but then they became unplugged and it started getting a bit close to my pedal. So I wanted to pit, but unfortunately I didn't know where the pit entrance was. Or I thought I knew what it was, but I was wrong. Turns out it's this little hard to miss if you don't know what you're looking for entrance. So yeah, I had to do another lap and um, yeah, big time loss here. And the Garmin, well, I'll tell you more about that later. I tried to get the Garmin stuck back onto the windscreen, but it just wouldn't have it, and I was losing time trying to get it back on. So luckily Jesse came over to see what was up, and I just handed him the Garmin, and thankfully he put it back in the uh, pit garage. So yeah, let's go back out. Obviously, really going to miss the data, trying to learn a new track, sort of blind, but let's just go and try and get a feel for the car and a feel for the circuit. Let's go and drive, and then... Yeah, yeah, that's it up. If you missed that, the current fastest time out of the cars I'll be racing against was a 1 minute and 33. My best time so far, a 1 minute 41, 8 seconds behind. ということで、EF9をドライビングします。ダニエル・シルベスター。前編82番はダニエル・シルベスターです。さあ、シルベスターと言いますとね、もちろんシルベスタスタロンを思い浮かべる方がいらっしゃると思いますけど、あの、そん
was uh, going to see a bit of a blind session. We might, um, we might do some lap timing for us with the transponders maybe. Of the oh, I know what it'll be. It'll be like washing up liquid, right? Because it's not got heaters to stop it from misting up. Well, I've just completed the first session. So Garmin obviously fell off and uh, now won't power back on. So Garmin is kaput. Jesse's got one as well and he says I can borrow his for my session. We're not racing against each other, we're in different classes, different races, so yeah. But anyway, it turns out they do still time you from your transponder. And I was P11, so right in the middle, which not too bad, is it? Not too bad, I'll take that, yeah. There's just been a really noisy few cars out there, an open class. There's a K24 EG as well, which we'll, uh, we'll maybe have a look at in a little while, but yeah, the car was uh, good, yeah, super stable. The tyres were, yeah, the tyres were very good. And yeah, I was, uh, I was having fun. Uh, the only thing that's majorly different to me that was taking more time to get used to was the brake pedal. The brake pedal's super firm. There's not even like, there's not even a little bit of squishy. It's just there, right? I'm pretty sure it's got a servo. It must have a servo, but we'll double check. Yeah, so it still has a servo. Um, but yeah, the brake pedal just just super firm, and that was a bit. <clears throat> like not not a great deal of, of modulation being able to happen so not a lot of confidence on the brakes but I mean I'm pretty happy with we've not been dead last at least we're um, two seconds off the front runners so it's not it's not a million miles away really it could be a lot worse but yeah dead in the middle in the practice session so we've got qualifying coming up next hopefully my Garmin wakes up I'm pretty sad about that but you know, the um, the screen had some liquid on it, some like washing up liquid or something, so this was not stuck very well, the suction cup. I've just cleaned that and made that all, all good and fixed everything and it's stuck on really nice now, but now the Carmin won't turn on, so yeah, real sad. I've, I've just been reading all of the uh, online instructions on how to reset it and everything and it, it just won't wake up. Well, it looks like this open session is going back out now. So yeah, Jesse's out in 10 minutes, so I'll have to be ready to move the car. I don't know where he's gone, but... Uh, yeah, pretty bummed about the uh, Garmin, but let's not dwell. Yeah, let's not dwell. I'm dwelling. I'll get me uh, get me camera out in a bit, big boy, and we'll do some uh, do a little pit walk, I reckon. Well, Jesse and Lucas are going out for their practice session now. There's an S2000 with them. I thought they'd be all Civics, but S2000. That's interesting. So Jesse's testing out these full wets but it's definitely not full wet weather the tires that I'm on are his and he's probably gonna want to use them for the race unless it starts raining again which will put us back on the harder compound which will be quite a bit more spicy in the wet but we might be okay Both their cars have got 
registration plates on. We drove here this morning. I was having a bad time at Alto. I don't know how much of a good time they were having, but look, I got an Alto friend as well. Five door though. Ooh, man's a proper racing car, bro. Right, we're gonna go and do some exploring. It's, it's super loud here, so just the way it is. I've got the audio recording level all the way down. Let's go watch some cars. Comes Jesse. K24 Everyone's going super slow. What is red flag? So yeah, that session's uh, red flag. They only got a couple of laps. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. I've tried to set the region, but it's a CRT monitor. to win this he's currently p3 well we want him to be top of the practice because that'll give him confidence that he can keep his wet tires on and not need to swap for his uh, racing uh, mildly moist tires which i'm currently borrowing which would be a good help for me obviously they're his tires can you hear what i'm saying Well, it's lunchtime. 
my qualifying session is straight after lunch. Now, there's some cars on track at the minute, but they're doing like a, a parade lap or something. There was some cool... Th oh, is that an F11? Hey, I've not seen a single car trailer since I've been here, you know. They all have these, um, like, car transporters. FD2 here. Oh. Hello, Mr. VIP. Surprising amount of cars with number plates on. Now I've driven here, but let's have a little look at this. Not bad, eh? Pretty beefy. Wonder if he's got Hosh spec tire sizes. What do you reckon? 295 front? Yeah, 295. 18. Still running the spoon monoblocks though, eh? Can you see that? Still got the spoons. I don't know if that's the Civic that we saw the other night. Same livery, obviously. Might be. The one from the meat that was on the trailer. Right, it's time for my qualifying. So I've stolen Jesse's Garmin. So we'll hopefully be a bit more successful this time. I got a good feel for the track before, but now we need to start pushing. We've got a couple of seconds to find. I mean, I really want to be in the top 10, really, right? That's the goal. If we can get in the top 10, that'd be lovely. Let's get out there and see what happens. ニューカマーゼロファイターEKレンタル車両をドライビングしまして、ダニエルシルベスター13番手ゼッケン71オートバックス小畑電機オートバックスカラーのゼッケン71番。これ一番の青玉ですかね。いや違いますね。バックストレ
23s. Uh, lost a bit of time there at the last corner, but starting to get a good feel for the track in the car now. I was trying to break later at this one, but you know, there's a car beach there, so that's less than ideal, isn't it? The track was definitely better than this morning. I don't know if that'll be enough. Well, nearly two seconds. Hopefully that gets us in the top ten anyway. That wasn't perfect, but it was pretty good. That feels great. That last corner is a bitch. Cross level's a bitch. in a quiet area. Qualified feet. Well in the top ten, that'll do. Yeah. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. Still said about my Garmin, I've just tried it again, it's dead as f uh, but Yeah, P5 we're gonna start, so from there we should be able to, you know, hopefully just stay with the pack and see what happens. We're expecting rain soon, so that could put a spanner in the works. The race is in about an hour and a half. Right? Okay, let's have a look what's going on on track now. Oh, it's a red flag. Uh, and the cars are coming to the pits. What a time to get the camera ready. Very happy with my qualifying. Oh, got someone checking out my car, seeing what tyres I'm on. <laughs> yes, lad. I just had a visit from the guy who was in P6. It's the orange EG from qualifying. He's behind me on the grid. He says uh, we're going to go forward and take everyone, he says. So, see how that happens. But it's Jesse and Lucas who's qualifying now, so I better get my rig out of the way, eh? Well, that qualifying session was interesting. They didn't even get any laps. Zero laps. Zero laps, man. Das ist nicht gut. Lucas is German. Let's try some German on him. Das ist nicht gut. Nah. Yeah. See, he got it. He got it. He's a scheiser, yeah. Anyway, there's some cool stuff qualifying. It's the open class next. So I'm gonna try and get some videos of that, but then I am racing after that. So I won't be pointing the camera too long. This is the 50 mil lens. This is a bit of a zoomer. I've not seen this thing out there yet. A little Honda with the red type R Honda badge at the front, look. Where did that DC2 go? There's a DC2 here before. Maybe he's out in this. Maybe he's out in this race. Oh, the CG's had a bad time. Alright, let's have a look at some of these cars then. Because there's a lot of non-Hondas. GR86, GT86 with a front mounted Nikola. Rocket Dancer, hold me close, uh, Rocket Man, yeah, can't make his mind up which were his favourite songs, so he picked both. Oh, that's 15 coming out. Bonjour now. Supra. Well, that ND looks nice. A class, a 45 or a 35. He's got some camera on the front anyway, I tell you that.
370. Oh, look at that behind it though. Hello, bonjour. T37 Ultra, maybe? No, something else? Colt. Another nice ND. Swift. And then another eight six. Yeah, quite a mix up. This guy's got endless calipers. Bronze T37 on a blue H6, very nice. Oh, what's that? Lexus. GR Yaris coming out as well. Right mix up. S15's going some as well. Nice. Oh, I thirty two. Super fast. That Mercedes is quick. Come on, six sixty. Yeah. Yeah, some cool stuff in this one. I'm going to leave it there and start getting ready for my race. I need to find out if we've got a formation lap or not, because that could get awkward if not, or if we have. Yeah, could do with an answer on that. Jesse getting interviewed for the live stream. Well, the post-production live stream. It's not a live stream, is that the wrong word? Got some work going on here. Wow. Yeah. All right, it's time for the race. Starting P5. We've got a lot of experienced men behind us, so we'll, uh, yeah. The weather's not really changed. It's, it's not dried up. It's not really stopped rain, and it's not heavy rain. It's just spitting. But uh, yeah, it's time to uh, time to race. <laughs> A little bit nervous, yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I'm feeling my back starting to hurt for some reason. Is that an old man thing or is that the uh, the two hours sleep and being up for all these hours now? But we'll be fine. The adrenaline seems to be doing the work, so we'll be fine, we'll be fine. But yeah, anyway, let's go. Our first circuit race in Japan starting P5 of a grid of 20. I think a few cars dropped out, it might be about 17 now, but yeah. We're still in that top half, so brilliant. They're going to start calling us out now, so I need to get in the car. Here's P1. 
So the assembly area is the pit lane, look. They get us assembled here. And then we're gonna go out, grid up, and then we're gonna do one green flag lap. And then we're gonna grid up and go. So, EG, EG, there is one EK in front of us. There's actually a car in this race that you might recognise from the other night. I don't know where it is, but the um, when we were at the meet, we saw a Civic with gathers written on the side of it. He's in this race somewhere. So, there he is. I'm going to pass you over to Jesse, top cameraman.
I got lots of energy in the brakes. Warm up those pump tires. Obviously a bitterly disappointing way to start my racing in Japan, but let's have a little review of what happened. I got a pretty good start, not the best, not the worst, but managed to hold my position and not too much wheel spin. Going into T1, the cars were going a, a little bit slower than what I thought. It uh, looks like the car in P1 didn't get such a good launch, so you know people were scrapping and that brought the corner speed down. I made a mistake on exit ended up clipping the inside kerb which unsettled the car and I had to lift off for a brief moment which made me vulnerable to the two orange EGs behind. So 
So now we've got two Zero Fighter Orange EGs, both wanting to pass. One on the inside, one on the outside. I probably should have held the inside, really, look on reflection, but at the time, I think I thought that the car on the inside wasn't going fast enough, so that I should move to the outside to defend from the outer car. Now, looking at the footage back, it does look like I also brake early, which won't be helping things, but the conditions were more like practice. It had rained since qualifying, and I also didn't get many good opportunities to practice braking on this corner with the accident in qualifying. Now, I did see the car on my inside, and I thought I left enough room. <laughs> I mean, I was still in front of them both, right? Technically, I don't know. What do you think? It was only a kiss. Yeah. Lost control of the car for a brief moment. Ended up going out wide and collected the guy <laughs> trying to pass me on the outside. What the fuck, man? Fuck off! What the fuck? Oh, come on! No! 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 I'm not real happy about this letting go of the steering wheel thing that I've done a few times and I can think of incidents where it's helped me control the car or get a car back pointing the right way. Obviously it's a thing from drifting really with with oversteer and trying to counter the slide, but I mean, maybe I wouldn't have hit the EG on the outside. Maybe I could have controlled the car better if I kept my hands in, or was it the car itself just, you know, with, with the lack of power steering, was it the car just doing that itself? I don't, I don't think so. What would have happened if I would have, I mean, I had to counter steer and it's just a quick way of getting a lot of counter steer, right? I can think of a time where this happened racing last year at Brands Hatch where I don't think I would have kept the car between the white lines without doing that. But then I can also think of an incident at Snetterton where I actually went off track because I did that. So obviously I'm not thinking, I'm just driving, right? But I think on reflection, certainly looking at this, in this situation, I don't think it helped, but you know, Easy to say in hindsight. It's probably more that the occurrence in Brand Satch, for example, was lucky that it helped. But then again, who's to say, right? Probably someone in the comments right now. Jesus. Fuck's sake. Huh? I thought I... Fucking hell. Ah.
、まだでも 75% 以上は終えられてないはずですよね。Yeah, feels okay. I'm gonna try and continue the race. Still let me. The winger is broken. <sighs> the uh, Civic's got a big dent in the body in the side. So, oh yeah, I've got Jesse's wheels on, and one of them's not looking too healthy. And they're super rare white C28 Volks, which aren't made anymore. <laughs> Could really do with getting out and checking that none of my tyres have got plunges or anything, but I guess we'll feel it. How much is a C28? How much have I spent to come to this race? More than a C28. More than a C28 and a Garmin and a side panel. Like we're heading into the pits, hopefully they could us back up. Let's go out. I wonder if the race is cancelled. Done. Is it done? He's got a fucking sandwich, man. Hey? One of them went down my inside and one of them went down my outside and they just fucking went. And then I went into the EG on the outside. Yeah. Is it done? I, it looks like, yeah, because the time is everything. Huh. And, uh, That's not it, is it? That's 50, yeah. 53, yeah. 53, yeah. So the car that hit me then was actually the guy who runs Zero Fighter. <laughs> so, looking for his car because I've got a present, I think. This was in the sand next to my car. I want to see whose car is. It looks like a Zero Fighter lug nut to me. This is the car that was on the outside. Double denim. This guy's got the same wheel nuts, I wonder if it's from his car. No, oh, no. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. P1. Uh, oh, we've not found the home for the Wissing Nugno yet. Daisuke. I think so. I think we might have found the home. Maybe. I don't know, maybe. No, no, no space. Okay, he pushed me off the track. I think you have to leave the space. All the time you have to leave the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Dak. Come on, Dak. For you? I think. Let's see. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh no. Someone else is Someone else? It was Hall. No, no. What? Did you go? It was Hall. Maybe someone else picked it up. Someone else has started blowing off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to come back for round two then. It's in May. I think we can extend the Japan trip until then. May 11th. Uh, the first two corners were nice, yeah. Went a bit downhill from there. I'd love to find the owner of this though. I think we need to do some more searching. <laughs> How wide is that EG? I think there was enough room for an EG on the inside if you wanted it. I don't know. Apparently not, but round two. Okay, okay. Yeah? Okay. Um, crash, you, crash you fee was more zero. Ah, uh, yeah, zero. Nice fight. Zero <laughs> fighter. Ah, <Zero> fighter. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. So, Daisuke, zero fighter, the man that we met on our first day here. The lovely man. Doesn't think I gave him enough room. But his friends all thought I did give him enough room. I saw him coming. I obviously had the other car on my outside as well. I'm not sure where. I was supposed to go three into one, you know, doesn't mix, does it? But yeah, the car is uh, the car took quite a hit there. I think it's mostly body. So this is where the EG went on my inside, and this was the big hit on the outside. I think it might have been hit before. What do you think? Maybe a little bit. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's not good, is it? Maybe that's a good thumbnail. Is that a good thumbnail? Jesse's going for the dry setup. I'll give him a hand and then I'll uh, take a nice picture of my car, shall I? Uh, round two though. Redemption. Wow, super. Brand new. Brand new. Oof. Stick it on. Oh, you got loads of these wheels. What are you on about? I don't want to know how much they are. <laughs> Four G's on pole. Back to back. I think Jesse was sixth. I think maybe, I can't remember who his rival is. Oh. What a perfect place to stop. Good luck. Anyway, back to this. Just changing the uh, wheels back. Uh, Cheers for letting the meter uh, see you 28, Jesse. Thanks. Right. Here we go then. Jesse's race start. He's starting P6. Just there, look. Five seconds. done with racing. Jesse won his class. 
Yeah, but we, there's still one thing, there's still one thing to settle. Who's the owner of this then? Huh? It wasn't from either of the EGs. So where did it come from? Huh. Maybe that one on the truck, is it? Is that Maybe that's why he crashed. Four stud. Oh! Oh! This guy's missing some nuts, but I don't think it's the... I don't think he's the owner, no. Doesn't match. Yeah, then the stud's still there. Yeah. Not that one. Close, but no cigar. Oh, car trailer! Oh, single axle! Uh. Oh, this, mm. this is heavy Yeah, <laughs> nobody runs single axle trailers really. Well, some people do, but they're sketchy, man. Uh, I can't think why they do that. I guess because it's much easier to rotate them, like to turn yeah. really good. Like when it's off the, the vehicle. Like off the tow vehicle will turn really good. You know, it's not here. So it turns out we've just checked and it was from that like, EK. But the reason it only had two nuts in it then was because they've just fixed it. But, uh,. Yeah, maybe try and hand it back to them before we go, eh? A little uh, souvenir. Or maybe I'll just keep it. <laughs> oh, soaking. Not bad. Is that a t shirt? Uh, towel. Towel? That's what I need. Don't forget to bring a towel. They're doing a group rock, paper, scissors fight to win a pair of DZO freezies. <laughs> This is the final round. This is for 20,000 yen, which is about 100 pounds. Quite a few of these stacker trucks. I've only seen one car trailer, but there's loads of these trucks. Look, there's another one here. Pretty cool, eh? Alright, that's all from Central Circuit then. Obviously not the day I really wanted to have, but in the same time, maybe it was the day I wanted to have because I did my first circuit race in Japan. It didn't go the way I wanted it to, although I was a lot more competitive and qualifying than I thought I was going to be. Despite all the, uh, you know, premeditated excuses that I had lined up. I feel like we could have probably had a, a good race. Um, I don't know where those two EGs came from really, I mean... Hey, maybe it'll all make sense when I look at the video, but yeah, we've done it. I'm going to try and do round two. I'm not sure what happens now with the car because obviously it was an incident with the man who, who runs Zero Fire and, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I gave him the space, you know, like, a, like Alonso. I have to keep Alonso happy, right? I'm pretty sure I gave him the space, but... If, if I didn't, then it's my fault. But then again, I had the other car on my outside, so... I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll let you know. I've told them I want to do round two, which is in May. So the plan is to go and do some stuff in, in Tokyo and then... Um, and around that area and then, and then come back to Osaka to... Uh, yeah, do, do round two, which is May the 11th, which is about eight weeks, seven weeks from, from now. It's at Central again, same circuit, so... Yeah, I'd like to do it, but no, that's all from this one though. Next up, ooh, we've got the key car race coming up. I'm gonna do a video on the Alto. We're gonna take the Alto for a little drive. It needs some new tires and stuff, and I'm gonna try and find somewhere if I can give it a health check, ideally, but 
Well, no, we'll, we'll see about that, but plenty more to come. So thanks for watching. Big thanks to Jesse for letting me use his special wet tires today. Yeah, he ended up going out on the dry setup in, in his race, and he won his uh, he won his class as well, which we saw him getting sprayed with the sparkling water, which is about all that stuff is good for, really. Chucking on the floor. Yeah. All right. So hopefully we'll return to Central in uh, a couple of months and have a much better time. But yeah, uh, good experience. So. Yeah. And the uh, uh, that's racing. That's what they say, isn't it? That's racing. Really enjoyed driving the EK9. It was good, man. I was starting to get in a really good flow with it. It's a shame the the race ended as it did, but I mean, with with the other vehicle being off as well, I mean, it, you know, no one finished the race under checker, so yeah, I I got you know I got pretty unlucky, but the race wasn't there anyway. So let's take some consolation in that. No, All right.